Well, joining us live from Wisconsin is journalist Jessa Breisbeck, who features heavily in the documentary, and it's lovely to talk to you this morning. Um, congratulations, because, I mean, this is huge. It's number one on Netflix, but it's a bit bittersweet, that, for you, right? Yeah, Holly, uh, that's really the uh, the epitome of what it is for me, for sure. Uh, you know, bittersweet is the perfect way to put it for me. You know, it's uh, anybody's dream and everybody's dream to be part of a uh, number one movie documentary on Netflix. But at the same time, you know, um, a guy that I grew to care about is, uh, you know, sitting in prison and uh, another gentleman's dead and, you know, Many, many lives are affected by this. Um, so, yeah, bittersweet's a perfect way to put it. Well, an extraordinary start to this story because it's February the 1st, 2013. You've been a sports reporter and, uh, and then, uh, <laughs> for whatever circumstances, say, right, OK, that's it, you, we, you, we need you to be a news reporter, get out on the road, cover a story. This is your first story as a news reporter. <laughs> what did you see that day? Uh... Chaos, really. Um, you know, by the time we got to the scene, um, you know, all the victims, Jet McBride, the driver of the car, Kai, uh, the hatchet wielding hitchhiker was they were all gone from the scene. So when we got there, you know, the cars were still intact. The investigation was still going on. But there were thousands of questions to be answered, if you will, you know, so we're, we're walking around trying to figure out exactly what happened. We had bits and pieces from the scanner, bits and pieces from, you know, just talk on the streets. Um, there was thankfully a, like kind of a swap meet going on along the side of the road where people were selling, you know, fruits and vegetables, trinkets and stuff like that. So, you know, my, uh, my job at that point was to go find witnesses and talk to them. Um, I did, you know, end up talking to people that were directly involved. The woman that, uh, Kai saved, uh, was talking to her actually um, in the middle of an interview when I saw Kai walking on the other side of the road. And that's where, uh, you know, I literally cut her off mid sentence uh, during the interview and uh, went over and uh, talked to Kai. And that's where that uh, initial six minute interview starts and is that, when I put the uh, microphone was, in his face key, and start because... going. But what he, what he did in that interview was yeah. he started off with this sort of message of love and then you've got that sort of what's become very iconic over there, this sort of smash, smash, smash that then exploded and became yeah. these memes. It was coupled with the fact as well, loads of other journalists arrived on the scene and he would only talk to you. So people were desperate, scrabbling to get to him and they weren't able to do that, which makes everybody want them more. And it just blew up. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, the interview itself, as he's speaking, you know, I knew it was going to be something special. You know, everything that was coming out of his mouth was gold. Uh, he was animated. He was, um, you know, charismatic. And then after my interview, all the other stations wanted to talk to him. He turned them down. So then I knew, okay, this is going to be extra big. And then after that, he just left the scene. So it became this thing. If he was a quote unquote, you know, normal person and he had an address, he had a home, every network around the country world really would have been sitting on his lawn waiting for him to come out. And eventually they would have gotten the interview and talked to him, but because he had no address, no one had any contact info for him, except for myself. Um, he became, it was almost like a superhero status. He saved the day and then he disappeared into, yeah. uh, into the night. So and then it, yeah, then it, starts it was unbelievable. To, it starts to go wrong because, and we have, we're having to praise a very complicated yeah. story here, obviously in a short period of time and to get yeah. the full extraordinary tale, you have to watch the documentary. But so he is then lauded by everyone. Um, he is this, you know, sort of have a go hero who then disappears, doesn't want anything to do with anybody really. Then he, then he does do the Jimmy Kimmel show. He then proves himself to be a loose cannon because of what he said. Uh, he is then investigated by the police and an entirely different and rather dark, sinister past comes up over the death of 74-year-old Joseph Galfi. Yes, uh, that happened in uh, about three months after the initial incident, which obviously is not a long time in the uh, big scheme of things. Uh, the initial incident happened in February. That happened in May. And um, yeah, uh, you know, unfortunately, as of right now, he's uh, he's sitting in prison in New Jersey after uh, murdering Mr. Galfi. Um, you know, there's differing opinions on what happened. He claims self-defense. Uh, obviously, prosecution says otherwise. Um, you know, but Kai's story is not over. He's still fighting for his uh, freedom. He has appeals in the process. So, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. But uh, 
Um, well, you know, in the meantime, it's a, it's a tough story for sure. He's currently sentenced for 57 years, which, um, as you said, he's, he is appealing that. You are still very right. much in contact with him and you're hoping to do another interview with him again soon. Yeah, yeah, we'll see what happens. You know, the initial... he. He didn't want to do the documentary because he didn't want to uh, jeopardize any of his appeals. Now that the documentary's out, uh, you know, I'm sure people from all around the world are reaching out to him. He wants to uh, talk and tell his side of the story. Um, you know, I'm a trusted, um, you know, friend and journalist of his. So he has reached out to me and wants to talk. We've been in contact this whole time. Um, you know, I, he knew everything that was going on with the documentary from day one until it came out. Uh, you know, I kept him up to speed on everything that was going on. And now that it's out and, uh, you know, everyone around the world's kind of talking about it, I think he wants to tell his side of the story. So we'll see what happens. There's still a lot of things that have to happen in order for me to get to uh, the prison and inside and uh, be able to do the interview. But uh, the initial process is underway. In August 2021, the Supreme Court rejected Kai's appeal. Uh, and that appeals process, as you just mentioned, continues. Um, it looks as if, when you watch this, it, uh, so much more could have been done to protect his mental health here. But also there are people who've watched this and said that you are exploiting him. How do you respond to that? Yeah. Uh, you know, those two things are, um, you know, tough topics and anyone that knows him and me and our relationship would know it's not true. I mean, I haven't made a single penny off this guy um, from day one. You know, all I tried to do was, uh, you know, look out for him and do my best by him and, uh, you know, create a, a happy life for this guy that, uh, you know, obviously he had a bunch of dark times, um, you know, so it was with every fiber of my being. I mean, I was looking out for him and trying to um, you know, help him any way I could. Um, you know, as far as the mental illness and the mental health, um, you know, this, yeah, you do have to remember that this was 10 years ago. Uh, so mental health wasn't in the forefront like it is now. Mm. Um, you know, and I, you know, I'm not a doctor. I tried to do all the best that I could for him using the tools that I have as a human being and a journalist, um, you know, just be his friend, show him love, show him passion, show him, um, you know, care and, you know, be there for him. Well, it, as, um, as we said, Jess, I, mean, I appreciate you talking to us yeah. today. Uh, this it's a is fascinating a documentary. a uh, story. Yeah, it really is. Uh, which uh, you've watched Yeah, I watched thing. it yesterday. And, yeah, um, yeah I mean, it's, yeah, it's fascinating. It's Go on and watch Netflix it. Right Give it a go. Now. Thanks, Jess. Um, thank Thanks. you. Good to talk to you.